morning. Do healings and blessings have to wait until after Sabbath? I'd like you to join me as we look at Mark 1, verse 29 to 34, and let's see how it goes here with Jesus. Now, as soon as they had come out of the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with John, James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she served them. At evening, when the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon-possessed. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he did not allow the demons to speak because they knew him. So there's a lot of interesting stuff here, and we won't be able to look at all of it. But uh, what do we have going on here? We have uh, Peter's mother-in-law, Simon, Simon Peter's wife's mother, she is sick. And Jesus takes and just immediately heals her. He touches her. He, he heals her. So that's part of his work. Uh, then we have people waiting outside. They're waiting, apparently waiting for the sun to set because they came out of the synagogue that morning, we read, and so it's the Sabbath. So in the afternoon, Jesus heals her. And then after the sun goes down, there they are. They're ready to go to have demons cast out and healings done. And Jesus, Jesus does that. He accommodates them. He's very glad to make those healings and cast out those demons. But what's interesting here in our text is what? That we see that Jesus healed even during the Sabbath. You know that God is ready to bless us and heal us. We don't have to wait for the end of the Sabbath for God to deliver us, whether it's deliverance from sin or deliverance if he chooses to heal us. God knows what he's doing, and he is ready to give us that deliverance. So uh, sometimes we set up our own, <laughs> we have our own expectations, but we are missing sometimes opportunities. Those people didn't have to wait till sundown to be delivered. And Jesus, I think, would be glad to deliver them. What, what day better than on that blessed seventh-day Sabbath? So, interesting story here from the life of Jesus. But we don't have to wait till the worship day is over. We can go right ahead and have his blessing right now. Well, I'd like you to join me in a word of prayer. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking at this today, we want to be right with you. Uh, there might be unnecessary rules and things we've made up, things that actually don't help our spiritual walk with you, but things that separate and complicate and get in the way of the, the clean relationship you want us to have with you. So Lord, we want to ask for you to bless every worshiper, everybody who needs healing, Lord, we want to pray that you will provide healing and they'll come to you for it immediately. Same with any demon possession cases, Lord. We again look to you and your authority and your power. Lord, how much more should somebody be released on a day of worship? Uh, just as much as any other day if they're in bondage. We know it's your will for us to be released from bondage. And so, Lord, thank you for these gifts. Bless us today. Each person has their own challenges and tests, and, and some that I'm praying with and for. I want you to, Lord, please work in their life and give them deliverance for the things that they need. Help them not to wait or have unnecessary restrictions and things. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. Well, it's going to be a wonderful day. God be with you today as you walk through this day with Jesus at your side. Have you ever underestimated God's desire to bless you and heal you? Have you ever uh, missed an op spiritual opportunities because you thought there was a requirement that, that maybe wasn't really a Bible requirement? I'd like to, to uh, share a comment on that if you have an experience to share with us so that we can look at that together in the comments below. Anyway, God be with you and you have a wonderful day in Jesus.